Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is lesson number 4 in exam preparation series for the first year engineering students. And we continue our discussion on differential equations. And as always, before we start, the most important question. How to make these video lessons efficient and effective? And point number one, so are you ready with a pen and a paper? And point number two, this is very, very important. Make sure you work out all the problems along with us. And you can pause the video and listen to the lecture again and again till your concepts are clear. And once you complete the video lessons, work out a lot of questions and test yourself from past year's question papers. And let's start with lesson number four. Okay, so in lesson number three, we learned type zero and type one. In type zero, um, the right hand side of the differential equation will be equal to zero. And in type 1, the right hand side will be an exponential function e power ax in general. Now, in type 2, the right side will be sin ax or cos ax. I'll repeat once more. In type 2, so how do you recognize type 2? The right side will be sin ax or cos ax. And as always, let's uh, work out one problem and learn the technique. So, solve the differential equation. d square minus 2d plus 5 of y is equal to sin 3x. So, what are we supposed to do first? Yeah, of course, the auxiliary equation. And that is m square minus 2m plus 5 equal to 0. Use a calculator and find the values of m. I got 1 plus or minus 2i. And that implies the complementary function is y equal to e to the power 1x c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. Okay. Now comes the particular integral. So how do you write the particular integral? 1 by the operator. d square minus 2d plus 5 of sin 3x. Okay, now look at this. The method is different. So what we do is very simple. Now tell me who is along with x in the argument. We have 3 into x. That means 3 is along with x. Now square this number. 3 square it's 9. And finally take negative of this. So you get minus 9. Now what we do is we will replace d square with minus 9. So that's the technique. We replace d square with minus 9. And don't tamper or don't touch d. Just leave it alone. At the same time, if you get something like d cube, what you do is you write this as d square into d. And you can replace this d square with minus 9. And if it is like d to the power 4, you can write d square into d square. And that will be minus 9 into minus 9. That gives you 81. Okay. So the method is very simple. 1 by what is d square? Yeah, minus 9, minus 2d plus 5 of sine 3x. And that is equal to 1 by minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4. So we get minus 2d minus 4 of sine 3x. And then we can simplify this a little bit. It's not compulsory, but... It's good. Okay, I simplified a little bit. Now what I do is very, 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 very important. I will multiply the numerator and denominator by d minus 2. The idea is very simple. I'll multiply 
the numerator and denominator by d minus 2. And the reason is, once you do this, the denominator will be in the form a plus b times a minus b, which is a square minus b square. So, the equation will change into d minus 2 by d square minus 4 of sine 2x, 3x. But, wait a minute. We are supposed to replace a d square with minus 9. We are supposed to replace d square with minus 9. So, in the next line, I will write 1 by 2 d minus 2 the whole divided by minus 9 minus 4 of sin 3x. So, I hope you understood this step. So, we multiplied by d minus 2, we got d square and again we replaced d square with minus 9. And that will be minus 9 minus 4 is minus 13 into 2, so negative negative 26 d minus 2 of sin 3x. Now, we can open the brackets. So, we get 1 by 26 d of sin 3x minus 2 times sin 3x and that is equal to 1 by 26. You can now tell me what is the derivative of sin 3x? Yeah, d means derivative. 1 by d stands for integration, but d stands for derivative. So, d of sin 3x means the derivative of sin 3x, that is 3 cos 3x minus the remaining part 2 sin 3x, the whole divided by 26. Now, that is it. So, the general solution is y equal to cf plus pi. So, add them up and you get the solution. Now, let us try one more question so that your concept becomes really good. So, please write solve the differential equation d square plus d plus 1 of y is equal to cos x. Let it be sin x, let it be cos x, the method is same. So, tell me what are you going to do first? Yeah, auxiliary equation. That is m square plus m plus 1 equal to 0. Now, use a calculator, we get m equal to minus 1 by 2 plus or minus i root 3 by 2. And this is the third possibility in type 0. So, the solution is or we call complementary function is y is equal to e to the power minus 1 by 2x c1 cos root 3 by 2x and plus c2 sin root 3 by 2x. Okay, now the pi. So, how do you write pi? 1 by the operator. I hope you saw the question. Yeah. So, 1 by d square plus d plus 1 of right side. That is cos 6. Okay. So, what is the method? Okay. Look at the argument. And the argument is x. That means 1 into x. I took 1. Now, I am squaring 1. 1 square is 1. And then I am taking negative of this answer which is minus 1. And now I will replace d square with minus 1. So, I am going to get 1 by, yeah, that is great news. Did you see what just happened? Yeah, the denominator just collapsed. And we get 1 by d cos x. Whenever I get 1 by d or d, I am really, really, really happy because it is the end. What do you mean by 1 by d? Integration of cos x dx. Of course, this is how we write an integral and that is sin x. That is it my friends. So, the general solution is y equal to cf. cf is over here plus pi. pi is 
sin x. That's it. Just substitute and you get the answer. Okay, so let's check out one more problem. So please write solve d square plus 1 of y is equal to sin 2x. So as always, auxiliary equation that is m square plus 1 equal to 0. Use a calculator, we get m equal to 0 plus or minus i. And that implies the complementary function is y is equal to e to the power 0 x. Okay, c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. And e power 0 is 1, so you can erase this part. Okay, because that part becomes 1. Okay, now the particular integral. So, p i is 1 by the operator of sin 2x. Look at this, 1 by operator of sin 2x. So, what's the method? Okay, look at the argument. x is along with 2. Now, I square that number. And finally, take negative of that number. So, it is minus 4 plus 1 of sin 2x. And that is equal to minus 1 by 3 sin 2x. Now, just add cf and pi. You get the general solution. Now, let's try one last question in type 2 so that your concepts are crystal clear and that is d square plus 9 of y equal to cos 3x. So the auxiliary equation is m square plus 9 is equal to 0. So m is equal to, you can use a calculator, 0 plus or minus 3i. And that implies the cf is y equal to e to the power 0x and c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x. And then what to do? The particular integral. And that will be 1 by d square plus 9 of cos 3x. Now what we do is we take the argument, the character along with x. That is 3, now let's square 3, you get 9, and then take negative of 9, you get minus 9. And that is equal to, oh no, we got 0. Now one very important thing. I hope all of you who are watching lesson number 4 has already watched lesson number 3. In lesson number 3, when we learned type 1, we had a similar situation but the denominator became equal to 0. So the method is very, very easy. All you have to do is you have to put 1x and then differentiate the denominator with respect to d. So you get 2 into d plus 0 of cos 3x. And this is equal to x by 2. And then we have 1 by d. And what is 1 by d? Integration of cos 3x. And that is equal to x by 2. What is integral of cos? Yeah, sin 3x by 3. So we'll get x by 6 sin 3x. That's it. So in this video, we'll stop with type 2. In the next video, we will go for type 3.